Hey, folks, Happy New Year from LightroomKillerTips.com and Kelby One. This is Scott Kelby, and I am here to show you how to install these awesome calendars that are made each year by Ed Weaver. So he makes these templates. He does them for free. He's an awesome guy. Uh, step one is to go to Ed's site and download them. So go right here to his website, which is redphotographic.com slash LR dash calendar dash templates and download his free templates. He has templates that start on Monday or the ones that start on Sunday, depending on where you live and how you want your calendar. I went with the Sunday ones here, but Ed is really awesome. And Ed also, Ed Weaver, what a great name, right? Ooh, Ed Weaver, but I believe we, okay. Anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> Just kind of kind of went off there, but it's, hey, it's a new year. Okay, that's step one. Go get your calendar templates from Ed. Step two, go and make a collection of the images that you want to, might, or perhaps might want to appear in your calendar. Now, step three, Ed gives you two things. He gives you templates for the print module and he gives you graphics to use with the actual calendar dates on them. So let's go and import the graphics. That's step three. Let's go to hit the import button here. Let's go to the import window and we're going to click on the file that I downloaded. And I went with uh, starting with Sunday large. So we'll click right here on the Sunday large. And you can see those are the graphics I'm talking about. Go ahead and you don't hit import yet. Want to save yourself some time? Click Add to Collection and add it to that collection. In my, my case, it's called Paris Copy. So that way, these files and your photos are together. It'll just make it so much easier. You want to keep swapping between different collections. Hit Import. They're going to come in. And when you go over to your collection, which is Paris Copy, you'll see that they're together. There are the dates. And there are the photos. So the photos and the graphics are together. That's step three. We're almost done. Step four, go over to the print module. All right. Now, of course, he's going to show you the first image there, which is that doesn't look right yet because we're not done. We've got to go over here to our user templates. All right. Right click. All right. It would be control click on a Mac, but right click right there and choose new folder because we're going to create a new template folder and we'll call this calendar just to make it easy. All right, we're going to import the the print templates into that calendar a folder we just made. So let's go right click again and we're going to choose import. Now, when you go to import, uh, here are the ones he gives you different sizes, eight and a half by 11 and 13 by 19 and what have you. I just went with this very first one, which is an eight and a half by 11. And you can do uh, one image per month, which is kind of what I want. But if you just wanted to do one single page that was one photo with all 12 months, he gives you a vertical and a horizontal version here. But I'm just going to go with this first one. We're going to import it and it's going to appear inside our calendar thing there. And then when you click on the template, watch how the layout changes. All right. The last step really is now go over here, grab January and then scroll over and grab a photo. And you're done. That's it. There's your calendar. There's your first month. And you can go ahead and print it over here in the print job or go to the printer and choose to save it as a JPEG where it says print to. There's a little pop-up menu and you can choose JPEG. Now, if you want to kind of more closely match, instead of having gray here, you want to more closely match your image, you can click on the image here, drop over the develop module and go to split toning. And then you can just choose the color you want, increase the saturation, just do it in the highlights like that. And we'll go back to the print module and it matches a little better. I could have probably done better than that, but there you have it. You're just going to do that for as many times as you want. Probably 12 months is my guess. And you can email those or print them or do whatever you like. Well, there you have it folks. Now don't go yet. Wait, 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 this is important. All right. I want you to think about 2017. How did you do with your Lightroom? I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I'm thrilled that you came here to lightroomkillertips.com. You've watched some tutorials and stuff, but ask yourself, did I take a huge, huge leap in my Lightroom learning? Am I like a different person in, at the beginning of 2018 than I was in 2017? If you're not, 
go to kelby1.com. Okay, it's not just a bunch of tutorials. It is actual education. They're full-length classes. We have training tracks that lead you through all the stuff and a community to help you and back you up and answer your questions. It is a worldwide community of members all over helping each other along with Lightroom gurus and experts and the best-known Lightroom trainers in the world are there with full-length classes. People like Matt Kleskowski, I'm there teaching, Serge Romali, you name it, Terry White, all of the cool people are already there doing the coolest training. You're going to love it. And for the first time ever, you can join for as little as $9.95, excuse me, $9.99 a month. So go over to Kelby1.com, check it out, start learning today. And at the end of 2018, you're going to be like, I am a Lightroom shark because I did the right thing. I got an education path and I learned it all and we will love having you be a part of it and you will love being a part of it. So check it out at Kelby One. Have a happy new year, everybody, and I'll catch you next time.